Agricultural Productivity Program for Southern Africa is hosting the World Bank funded initiative coordinated by the Center for Coordination of Agricultural Research and Development for Southern Africa. For the last six years, uh, the program was implemented in Malawi, Mozambique, in Zambia through facilitating the establishment of regional centers of leadership in different commodities. So Malawi is leading on maize, Mozambique on rice and then Zambia on legumes. The rationale is that all the research outputs coming out of these countries should benefit the rest of the SADC region and after six years of implementation there are considerable results and impacts in the three countries with spillover effects. So for more on this we joined by Dr. Monica Murata who is the research coordinator for the Center of Agricultural Research and Development in the Secretariat that's based in Botswana. Thank you very much for coming to our program. Thank you. So far and as far as your research is concerned, how much progress have you made in ensuring that this spillover effect is felt throughout the SADC region? Yes, in fact, what has been happening is that APSA, it is a flagship project in the region, although it started with the three countries, Malawi, Mozambique, and Zambia, it is expected to expand to the other countries in the region so that everyone can benefit from that. So what we have been doing is we have been uh, actually uh, encouraging collaboration in research and development so that the scientists can come together to attend and you know address a certain research goal any research uh, problems that are being faced by the countries in the Sadak region because we have similar agroeconomic, uh, agroecological zones. So whatever is developed, for, say for example in Zambia, it can be adapted in Malawi, in Mozambique, in Zambia, in Lesotho and so forth as long as we have similar agroecological conditions. Mm -hmm. so, so you would have sometimes avian flu, food and mouth diseases, or you can have the worm attacks on, 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 on plantations and so forth, while on the other hand drought doesn't spare the SADC region. So in as far as the inputs that you have made out of the fundings that you have made, how does that really uh, have a positive impact on what is happening on the ground? Okay, what, is, uh, what has been happening is that uh, the APSA, it has been building capacity of scientists in the region to address uh, uh, problems of regional importance. So the drought, the climate, climate change and so forth. So what has been happening is that those scientists, once they are trained, they now have that te technical know-how to address complex uh, research problems. So this is what we have been doing. We have been encouraging collaboration amongst the scientists in the different countries so that they get to come together and work uh, to address a common problem. And all this is being done because we want to give the farmers out there a basket of options to see if this technology is not working, what is the alternative? So this is how we have been doing it and this is how we continue to say scientists you should collaborate so that we address the challenges together. Do you expect it to be a walk in the park when you talk about spillover effect? I mean like if you talk about budding farmers, yes. uh, they would have challenges regarding funding, equipment and so forth and lack of experience as well as penetration in the market because yes. you'll find that there are many market players in the commercial market yes. who are so dominant and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not really welcome transformation. So how do you help those who are coming on board to actually have the playing field leveled for them so that they can participate equally? The first thing to do is to make sure that you create that, create that awareness, build the capacity of these farmers so that they, they are able to do things for themselves. So for me, I always think that for farmers, once they see that there's this technology, it is working very well, they will take it up without you know you having even to go to extension to say hey can you try to work with these farmers so this is what needs to be done it's not a walk in the park but the first issue is to make sure that farmers are aware of the problems the challenges and the solutions to the problems that they are facing and we know our farming systems within southern africa they are quite complex you cannot deal with the crops on their own without you know the livestock so you have to come with some kind of balance how do we you know promote those technologies that are looking holistically at the farming systems you know without just looking at crops or whatever so now that you are going to engage all these uh, farmers to come and talk about experiences and problems yes. what is the expected outcome 
for the farmers at the end of the day for me i believe every farmer all they want is to increase their productivity and then they also want you know to gain get something out of that returns so as far as they are concerned if they can adopt technologies that are going to make them food secure and at the same time they will also have surplus to sell and maybe uh, you know uh, for other issues this is what the farmers need to have and this is what we strive for because at the end of the day we are saying in the region we want the region to be food uh, food and nutrition secure but, but what are they saying about the hurdles that uh, they come across most of the time as, as i highlighted yes. the issue of yes. funding mm -hmm. uh, it may mm -hmm. not be the only one but when they speak for themselves, yes. what do they tell you? They are quite, okay, farmers face a number of uh, constraints. It will be access to land, it will be access to inputs, it will be access to, sometimes you go and demonstrate a technology, say um, an, an improved crop variety, but they cannot access the seed. So they also need, you know, that linkage to markets. So all those issues, the farmers bring them up and say, okay, you are saying I should do ABC, but where do I get this? Where do I get that? So this is where we come in now to say no. But for this one, if you go, if you approach this, you'll be able to get that. If you go this way, you'll be able to get that. So we, we interact with the farmers. We point them in the right direction so that they know where to get to access the services which oh, they require. All right. Thank you very much yes. for making time to speak to us. You are welcome. All right. Uh, Dr. Monica Murata is a research coordinator at the Center for Coordination of Agricultural Research and Development at the Agricultural Productivity Program for Southern Africa based in Botswana.